Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm going to be bringing to you guys is a most profitable items in New World 1.2 so that you guys going into the new year can start to make some really, really good profit. And as I said there, Happy New Year to all of you that are watching this. I hope you've all had a fantastic year and the best wishes for the next year going forward. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do drop a subscribe before we jump into this one. We're trying to push for 13,000 subscribers, so if you guys could help me reach that goal, that would be absolutely amazing. And without further ado, we're going to jump into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about kind of the gatherable and items that you can get without really needing anything in the game specifically maybe just your tools for a few of them and these are going to be things i'm going to show you the prices on my server so you've got a bit of reference point but of course these are going to be different every server that you play on so do just bear that in mind so the first thing here is flint flint is actually going to be literally just the stuff you pick off the beaches whatever and as you guys can see on my server this is 0.75 each even if you just get this as you're running from settlement to settlement or you're running to a quest objective or you're literally just running to an area for two seconds and you see 10 flint on the floor, you've made nearly 10 gold just off doing that, which doesn't sound a lot, but if you went for 20 minutes gathering this, got a couple hundred, maybe, you know, five, six hundred flint, you're making a lot of money very, very quickly. So, again, check the prices on your server for me. And as most of these are at 7.5, but there's only a couple hundred there, then they go up to 90. So, you could really play the market here and get nearly a gold per flint, which is ridiculous. Then we've got, obviously, raw resources. Any raw resources, we'll look at raw hide here, but it depends on your server. Again, you'll have to check the prices. But if you notice here, these are 0.2 each. Quite a lot of that level, so that's probably where you're going to be at. But if you notice from when you skin mobs, you'll probably get between three to six-ish rawhide. So again, a gold to two gold per mob that you kill. And again, some of those bigger ones, if you go hunting the bison down, etc. Those are going to be, you know, a lot more. They're going to give you a lot more rawhide from it. So you're going to be getting more gold per kill. And so this is very, very easy to make money from as well. One thing I will mention on the side of this, obviously you do need to be the acquired level for this one, so this is kind of, you know, higher level, but the tier 5 raw materials, so if we look at, for example, or a Kelcom, or this one right here, you guys can see that this is at 180 per ore, and again, you get in between 4 and 6, maybe sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, on each vein that you do. And it's kind of set at this price, if not higher. So that's, again, going to be a really, really easy way to make some very, very good money. And you can't go wrong with Oracalcomor. It's in pretty much all of the endgame expedition areas, all of the endgame elite zones that you're going to be doing. So just gather it as you're going along. Take a pickaxe, grab some. If you get some of your Void Ore as well, amazing. It's a really rare drop. Of course, Cinnabar Tolvium for your daily crafts on your, obviously, Asmodium there. But... Just getting the ore itself is really, really good. And that is because they can now be crafted 250 per legendary. And again, 2,500 for the 10 that you can craft a day. Then you've got both of them. So, for example, Cinnabar and Tolvium. So, you'd need 5,000 ore if you wanted to do that. Basically, it's very, very expensive. So, I would highly recommend getting the Trade Skill Aptitude caches for it instead. But some people will be doing it. And, of course, you will need to make the Osmodium ingots you do need oracalcum ingots as well so again people are just lazy and buying stuff you can make a lot of profit off that now the next one is going to be your elemental animals you know for the attunement potions if you're not sure what i'm talking about go and watch yesterday's video i did speak about this in depth essentially what you'll need is things like your spine fish and these ones really you can grab them from around the world they're just animals that are out and about i call them elemental animals or elemental creatures you can find them, they have a chance to either drop as moats or as the animal itself. And as you can see, the actual fish right now is selling for nearly four gold each. And this is just one of the ingredients you need seven different ones in order to be able to craft this. So again, if you are picking up a surplus of these and you've got enough for the next couple of weeks to craft your own topaz, if you're doing that daily, keep some for yourself and then sell any extra and you're going to be making a very, very good amount of profit. Now, the last one here is really, really important. And this is actually going to be hyssop. People are really, really missing out on this one. 0.36 per one, and again, there's just a few at this, then 37, 38, etc. And like I said, it will be different on each server. But for me, this is one of the easiest things you can do. You can literally go down to first light, go straight across from the settlement. I'll show you guys on the map what I'm talking about. If you go to first light, the settlement's here, and you literally go north and just to the right slightly next to this farm. And this whole beach area here has so much herbs in that refresh by the time you've gone up here. Go back to the start and they've all kind of respawned. You can get easily 1,000 to 2,000 here in about an hour. And the other really, really good place if you are a high enough level is, of course, Ebon Scale Reach. You go from the settlement and you go up to the north section just up here and basically follow this road along. You'll see tons and tons and tons of hyssop all the way along here, all in this section and all in this section up here specifically, kind of just next to the 
the the lover's shrine if you have that one unlocked if you teleport there and do this whole area again you can probably get a thousand to two thousand in half an hour to 45 minutes of doing this there's a ton here so there's a lot more than first light but first light is a lot more accessible so it's up to you what you want to do but this is really really good and of course with that you do get drops depending on what location you're in so for example cinnamon which is going to be one of the drops you can get, 0.48 per. So again, as you're going along, you'll be getting these extra drops. And the reason that Hisop's so expensive is because you need it for the Alkahest, which is the brand new component for all the potions. And then, of course, you're going to need all of your spices for each of the cooking that you do in the game as well. Now, next thing here, we're going to move on to crafted and refining items. So, of course, a lot of you guys will know any tier 4 or 5 refined. So let's look at layered leather for an example here. These are all going to be expensive because they cost reagents and people need to level it up and they're buying the tier 4 ones specifically because in order to get to that 200 so you can unlock your dailies, crafting the tier 4s into the tier 5s gives you the most XP and basically people have got lazy on it again. They've decided they just want to buy that way up there and this is 465 per so these are really, really going to be expensive. Again as well if you look at your infused which is going to be, you know, again quite expensive. These are 650 each and you can see right now I have a thousand of these owned because I went out and gathered it all rather than buying it. I bought a little bit, I will be honest, but that was when it was much cheaper before the merger sale. Happened. I preemptively bought some knowing this was going to be coming and saved it again for the trade skill aptitude and I've got a thousand of this now so I only need 10 daily or however much daily I think it's a bit more than 10 so I could sell maybe 500 of this and be safe for the next month still and make a very very large amount of profit so if you are going to do it I would certainly recommend gathering it because if you've already got your gathering skills to do 100 you get your aptitude caches if you don't you'll get your skills to do 100 doing it and it's going to save you and make you a lot of money so if you can do that I would. And the next one is going to be armor or weapons with ability perks on. This can actually be any weapon. So, for example, here, I crafted this one the other day. I accidentally put dexterity on it, but it's got life stealing and ruinous. This could sell for 1 to 2,000 gold. Not that much because I kind of messed up with the dexterity. Okay, we'll move past that. But it is what it is. But if you have a look at some of these other weapons. So, for example, this axe that I'm using right now. Obviously, I've equipped this one. But if I had gone ahead and sold this, 595, not quite that 600 which I was hoping for. But it is still plus 29 strength. Insatiable Gravity Well and Trenchant Rens. Really, really, really good for PvP. And this would have sold for maybe 10 to 15,000 on my server. Again, it depends on your server what you're actually going to get from that. So do pay attention to market prices. But if you can roll those max level weapons and you've got some spare materials from your trade skill aptitude caches or whatever, it's certainly worth it if you do get them or you get them as drops, which is the more profitable way to do it. Getting them from drops when you get up to that 590 gear score. Then, of course, you can go ahead and get some of these and sell them straight away with no cost to yourself which is absolutely amazing. Now, the next one here is going to be any of the daily craft limits. Of course, these are super, super expensive on my server, and I would imagine any server right now because people are trying to get the crafts, trying to get the rolls going, you know, for the trade skill aptitude. Asmodium, for example, 428 per. Obviously, you can only craft 10 per day, so your trade skill aptitude caches for your Crafting ones like, for example, your weaponsmithing, your engineering can drop Asmodium, which is why I'm really pushing how good they are because of the expense of these. But as you guys can see, that's one. If we then look at Runic Leather, this is also going to be another one. Not quite as expensive, but again, still in popular demand. Phoenix Weave is another one, which is, you know, not again, not quite as expensive, but still in high demand. And Asmodium is used for more things. You need more quantities of it. So that's why generally people are looking for it. And then if we look at Glittering Ebony, this one is in quite high demand. And again, you can see. 156 per which is expensive so Asmodium by far your most expensive which is why weaponsmithing is pretty popular right now you know for the trade skill aptitude caches but of course the glitter and ebony stuff like that if you can always craft all of these if you look at my trade skills right now the only one I can't craft is weaving's been blocked by the camera but that is 200 is of course my woodworking one so I need to get that up but the other three are 200 so I'm getting my daily crafts in and that does make me obviously be able to craft the things that I want but if I did want to sell it I've got a big amount of money I could claim in there then we're going to be looking at consumables, obviously potions, so mana, infused health, infused regen, they're all really, really good. You've also got things like your honing stones, like your incense, which is again really, really good for pretty much all content, not just PvE. Same for the honing stones, then for PvP specifically, you've got, you know, your oak flesh bombs and your gemstone dust. If you can craft any of these, they're going to sell, particularly on war days, but any days in general, people are going to be buying these up. Especially the infused health pots and infused mana pots, etc. So if you can craft those, I would certainly recommend doing it because you are going to make a good, good profit off that. 
And kind of following on from that, you've got your basic food, you've got your hearty meals, if you can craft tier 5, after the server merges for me, these are actually making a good bit of profit, people are just wanting to buy them for something to pop, it's a lot more cheaper to make than it is to, you know, craft and sell, so you are in profit, but do check the prices on your individual servers before you go ahead and do it, because it might not be the case globally. Then, of course, you've got things like your stat boost and attribute boosting foods. So, you know, your carrot cake, which is really, really good. You've got your roasted rabbits and seasoned vegetables, plus 40 con. And then your trade skill boosting foods as well, like your weapon smithing one, which I use right here personally. And these are all selling for a good bit of profit as well at the moment. So if you can craft any of these, if you've got your cooking to 200, now is a good time to get some trade skill aptitude on the go and make some decent money. Now, the last thing here I'm going to cover is your rare items, your rare drops. Firstly, I want to touch on Timeless Shards. These things are amazing. They are really, really good. You can craft them and you can choose the attribute and a perk that you want while still putting in Azov to get, you know, the other roles what you want to be. So a high success chance of getting another perk. You can't guarantee what that other perk is going to be. But if you've guaranteed at least one, you're getting at least a semi-decent item. And it is going to be the same amount of roles. So if you've got, you know, all of your trophies up to maximum, you've got the full set, the earring and the food on. It's 595 to 600. So it's not a guaranteed 600, but it can be very, very close. And if they're in the 595 or beyond, which I can craft with weaponsmithing, for example, then it's a really, really good item regardless. So these are really get really good they're selling for an awful lot on my server at least some of the more popular ones and of course you know things like the life staff one that would sell for a lot and of course you get these guaranteed from every expedition but you can also from the boss when you kill them at the end but you can also get them from the expedition chests or the elite zone chests as you are going around these zones as well so do look out for them as you can see i've got quite a lot much more than i've done expedition wise so i've got multiple drops from each one and the elite zones which can make you a very very good amount of profit if you do want to sell them now we're looking at trophy upgrade materials. These ones are going to sell for a lot. If we have a look on the marketplace right here, of course, something like a stacked deck, which is, of course, to upgrade your luck trophy. 30,000 or 37,000. These are very expensive. And honestly, they're quite good. They are good. They are worth it. But that is a lot of money. You know, it depends what you want to get. But generally, these kind of do cost a lot things like the armorer's journal again this is needed to upgrade your armoring trophy 21,000 so if you do manage to get any of these drops again you're looking at your elite chests in the elite zones uh, these ones are really really rare you can also get them just from normal chests around zones that are level 50 and above so do look out for those and if you're looking for the legendary drops those that are in the game because some of them still aren't those that are is it's it, level 60 plus elite zone chests really but you can get them from any normal chest in a level 60 plus zone you just got to have your luck level all the way up there but you can get them and as i said before the furnishing trade skill aptitude caches these ones right here i haven't got mine up to 200 yet but i really want to work towards it because they can drop some of those epic those purples which is really really good and can either make you a ton of money or can make you the trophy upgrade that you need for your next one yourself which is really really good now, craft mods as well, these are sort of rare, they're not, I wouldn't say necessarily the rarest thing, but if you do get some of these, as you can see I've got a few in my inventory here, if you do get some of the more sought after ones that are really kind of either new or really really good ones, then these can be worth quite a lot of money. The way to check this, I would go to any of your crafting stations, go onto a weapon, so go on to say for example Oracalcum Great Axe, and then you look on here, you can see any of the ability skill ones are really really good, and any of the brand new ones such as, let's see here, Plagued Crits, so a drop of blessed water, these are probably going to be expensive. So if we go and have a look on the auction house here, we can have a little look and see. And these are not that uncommon to find. They're 75 each right now on this server. If you want something like the insertable gravity well, these ones, the weapon ability mods, are very expensive. This is nearly a thousand gold for this one right here. And this is because, again, with those timeless shards, many, many players are trying to roll the perk that they want, the ability perk that they want, alongside the stat. So these are much, much more valuable now. So if you do get any of the ability skill ones for any weapon make sure you keep hold of them if you want to use them and if you want to sell them you're probably looking at between you know 900 here you can see 975 i've seen these go up to 10,000 for some of the more rarer ones so do pay attention to the market if you see them selling for a ridiculous amount sell it and um, you can probably buy them cheaper at a much later day or even a couple of days later but yeah these can sell for quite a lot so keep an eye out it's an easy few thousand gold if you do get a drop from these and they can drop from most of the level 60 plus mobs and to be honest some of them can just drop from any mob in the world so 
Just bear in mind, if you do get some of these drops, they are worth a lot. Also, you're looking at specific drops here for crafted items. So, for example, the Dark Sky. To actually unlock this crafting recipe, you'd need to have the Ancient Bearing, which is obviously this level, just 13 gold one here, which isn't too bad. But on top of that, you will also need the Empowered Counterbalance. And this one is, of course, nearly 400 gold, which isn't amazingly high, but it is a decent few hundred gold for an item that you can get dropped from any of the chests or mobs in the Elite Zones, for example. Or I think you can get these even from Expedition Chests. So do look out for when you do get some of these legendary drops most of them are worth a decent amount of money and that is because they do unlock certain crafting recipes so bear that in mind as well check the price of those if you do get any because they probably are worth it and of course any level 600 legendary gear if we just go on to let's say for example chest armor and we go on to the tier here or let's say gear score, let's go to gear score 600, and you'll see that any of the legendaries right here, so for example this one, uh, Void Bank Coat, obviously 600, but this Waterlogged Shirt is Ancient Ward, Blight Resistance, and Repulsing Clearout, so it's got a decent ability perk on, but the other two are not that great, 15 Dex, 10 Strength, and it's selling for 3 thousand gold which is it's not even that good tainted shirt here refreshing decent unending thought and logging look again dex and strength not great 1450 and so if you get any of these as drops from when you're going around once you've got to that 590 expertise level or indeed you craft some by accident that you don't want or they're not very good then you can definitely sell these for a lot of money and people are going to want to buy them just because they're 600 legendaries and you get the most stat points from it. If someone's got the right stats and maybe at least one perk or two perks that they want from that, then it's probably worth it. But obviously, someone will probably buy these so you can make some good money from it. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed, found it useful, and you can make yourselves some nice money from this. Hope you all have a fantastic new year. And I just want to finish off this video by saying a huge, huge thank you to all the support you've given me this year, guys. It's been absolutely unreal. I can't say thank you enough for it all. And here's to a fantastic 2022 for myself and for all of you guys as well wishing you all the best have a good one and i will catch you tomorrow in another upload take care guys and peace